This game is covering a lot of territory. You zoom down inside a nerve cell so you can build up positive charge outside the cell. That positive charge is what our nerve cells use to send electrical signals. That's the cell membrane. Everything above it is outside the nerve cell and below it is inside. The blue balls represent negative ions and the red ones are positive ions, sodium and potassium. You have to get all the positive red ions outside the cell using this enzyme, the sodium-potassium pump. And you move the ions around using this totally fictitious positive charge pulse. It attracts negative ions and repels positive ones. The enzyme pump has got three negatively charged holes in it here, so it can fit three positive ions. But to get it to spit those three ions out, you need to give it energy by getting an ATP molecule in this positively charged hole here. When the enzyme pump flips sides, it changes shape. Now it's only got two negative charged holes, so it can only take two ions back inside the cell. Once it's got two positives in it, it automatically shoots them back into the cell, no ATP needed. So every time you move three positive ions out of the cell, only two positives come back in. There are only 10 positive ions in the game, so it takes three rounds to finish, but you've only got two lots of ATP. Each time an ATP molecule gets used to give energy, its tail breaks off. It gets a new bit added on here, in the mitochondria. That's where all the energy stuff in cells happens. There's a lot of science in this game. The enzyme, called ATPase, really does work like this to build up positive charge using ATP to send three sodium ions out and only letting two potassium ions back in. But we did have to break a few rules to make it work as a game. For starters, the scale is way out. The ions are about 10 times bigger than they should be and the mitochondria is about 10 times smaller than it should be. And there should be thousands of ions moving crazily fast. In reality, the whole process happens in a fraction of a second. But the real clangor is with charge. In real life, the ions attract and repel each other automatically and every other charged atom in the cell. They definitely don't need some giant finger pushing a pulse button to get things moving. If they did, we'd be in way more trouble than Alexis 80s.